We never have a promise of tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen with any of our kids or ourselves for that matter. A friend of a woman from Buna killed in a collision in Beaumont. Investigators say the man who struck her car was intoxicated at the time of the crash. Good evening, I'm Greg Kerr. And I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. A Beaumont man is behind bars tonight on a bond of half a million dollars. Police have charged 34-year-old Justin Young with intoxication manslaughter. Investigators say he was under the influence and speeding when he crashed into a car driven by a 22-year-old woman from Buna. We have two reports. First, Justin Hinton spoke with a family friend of the victim and witnesses at the scene of the accident. A little before 10 Thursday night, George Kinney heard a bang. I heard something that sounded like an M80 or a transformer blowing off. It turned out to be a collision between a truck and a car. Hours later, it was still difficult for Kinney to talk about what he saw. God, I'm just so, so sorry for the woman that I know that probably had nothing to do with this. But when I got to the victim in the other car, I... I mean, his car split in half. Investigators charged 34-year-old Justin Tyrone Young with intoxication manslaughter. Police say he was speeding down Long Avenue, ran a stop sign, and crashed into a Lexus Neal's Impala. The force of the impact left the vehicles on their sides pressed against trees. I said, uh, hey, can somebody watch this guy while I go check on the other car? And I ran to the other car, and when I did... I didn't get any response from the lady in the other car. Neil died at the scene. The 22-year-old was born in Buna, graduated from high school in 2009. Is that all? And shaped memories for her mother's former co-workers at Fosto's Fried Chicken. It hurts your heart because she was the baby of her family. They were a very close family. And you just hate to hear it because you know that it can happen to anybody at any time. Sandy Jordan is a family friend and close to Neil's father and mother. I feel like Bird and I raised our kids together. I knew everything that was going on in their lives, and she knew everything that was going on in my kids' lives. Memories Jordan and others are holding on to in Alexis Neal's hometown. In Buna, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. Family friend says Neil was planning to get married later this year.